Hi, Prepared Suburbanite here and welcome back. Wanted to talk to you today about what I think is one of the most important tools any prepper can have. So stick around. So what's that tool? That tool is a personal or a household budget and the discipline that goes with it to manage that budget. I've been an accountant pretty much my entire career. Uh, my degree is in accounting, um, an associate's degree in accounting. I've, uh, my bachelor's degree is in business administration. And I've worked in the accounting field pretty much my entire career, whether it was in a bank or whether it was in uh, some kind of a healthcare facility. Um, I know debits and credits. I know assets and liabilities. I know income and expenses. Today I'm going to focus a little bit um, on income and expenses, but I really want to talk about the importance of the budget and the budget discipline. I'm a big fan of Dave Ramsey, um, Financial Peace University, the seven baby steps to financial independence, that kind of a thing. And um, he starts out with um, some what he calls his baby steps. And those baby steps are pretty simple. First of all, develop $1,000 and set it aside for your basic emergency fund and you determine what your emergency is but at least a thousand dollars just to get started then pay off your debt and start paying off your debt um, using the, his snowball idea which means you list all your debts credit cards uh, cars um, student loans and you list them with a balances from lowest to highest and you start paying them off. You make minimum payments on the big ones and you throw as much money as you can on the little ones and start ticking them off and get the little ones out of the way. Get the small balances out of the way, the small credit card bills, department store credit, that kind of stuff, and knock those down and take the money that you were spending on those payments and apply it to the next bigger one. And that's the snowball as you apply the funds that you were using to pay down the small ones. You take that money and you apply it to the bigger balances. And you maintain that discipline until you're debt free. At the same time, if you can, or shortly after you're uh, um, more than halfway through uh, uh, baby step number two, you'll want to save three to six months worth of expenses in a fully funded emergency fund. Then start saving for retirement, children's college if you've got kids, pay off your home, your home mortgage as quick as you can, and then build wealth and give to charity. Those are the seven steps. In order to get started, you got to know what your debt is. And you got to know what your expenses are. You got to know what your income is. A lot of people just kind of live day to day, they're not really planning, not really caring, um, just existing. And money comes in, the direct deposits from your paycheck or this place or that place, and you start spending the money. Well, you got to pay the electric bill. Oh, you got to pay the gas bill. Oh, you got to make a car payment. So you just keep paying stuff out. And honestly, I can remember the days when we were just getting started and how tough it was to make it from paycheck to paycheck. And it was, it was tough. Um, bottom line is that we began to uh, manage that process using just a simple spiral notebook where we'd write down all our obligations and the bills that needed to be paid and juggle that around to try to figure out how we were going to best use our income in order to stay afloat. And things were tough for quite a, 
quite a number of years when we were getting started. Uh, having three kids, um, it's not cheap, <laughs> let me tell you. So, once you develop the discipline, then you can improve on it. I found a, a, a whole bunch of Excel spreadsheets, templates, budget kinds of things out on the, on the internet. Um, all you got to do is just Google it and you'll get dozens of them. Pick the one that, that looks like um, it mirrors what your budget should look like. Put it into play. Use it. Customize it for your particular needs. And that's what I did. I found one that was basically simple and straightforward. And I've used uh, accounting systems, um, QuickBooks, and uh, all that kind of stuff. And using a spreadsheet works just fine for me. Yeah, it doesn't have the full discipline of double entry accounting systems, and it also doesn't cost a thing other than maybe a subscription or the cost of uh, purchasing um, the software to run it. Excuse me. We've used a lot of different methods, but the spreadsheet, that's the one that really works best for us. So we listed our income from all the different sources, we listed all our expenses, and I've got a, a couple of line items on there where I can track assets and liabilities. Thankfully, at this stage in my life, I don't have any liabilities. We've got um, capital budgets for home expenses and uh, future purchases and things like that. We uh, had to set some money aside to put on our new deck. We set some money aside earlier this year to get uh, uh, replacement windows done in this 40-year-old house. And um, it seemed to have worked out very well for us because I knew where all the money was coming in and I knew where all the money was going out. And the difference between the two allowed us to develop the project plans and the financing internal to make sure that we could invest the money the best way we could. Simply stated, got income, wages, pensions, social security, uh, annuities, interest, dividends, um, wages, taxable, 1099 gigs, that kind of stuff. List them all, all the different sources, and keep track of when that, the, the money comes in. On the expense side, Probably a half a dozen general categories is really all you're going to need, and then a couple of lines underneath each one of those. We've got um, home and household expenses, things like uh, mortgage or rent, the utilities, uh, insurance, repairs, uh, trash pickup, that kind of stuff. Daily living, another big category, that's like groceries, dining out, dry cleaning, that kind of stuff. Whatever daily living expenses you incur. Transportation, be for your car, your car payments, gasoline, car insurance, repairs, licensing, registration, that kind of stuff that goes under the transportation section. Entertainment, well, it, movies, concerts, uh, cable TV, streaming services, whatever, whatever you're spending money on to enjoy life a little bit probably goes under entertainment. Under health, general category, health insurance, whatever you're paying for premiums for that, whatever you're spending for out-of-pockets on deductibles and co-pays and co-insurance, um, medical uh, prescriptions, that kind of stuff. So keep track of all that kind of stuff. I sit down, well, a couple more things. Recreation and, and vacations, subcategories under that, um, motel costs, dog boarding, um, that kind of stuff. If you uh, go on vacation, you're going to need to plan to spend a little extra money on that, and it's best to know what you can afford and where, uh, where that money is going to be going. Under personal, um, clothing, gifts, barbershop, uh, beauty salons, dues and subscriptions, um, that kind of stuff, whatever, whatever you got that you can put down underneath there. And then um, kind of a general other category for things that uh, do pop up that become a regular kind of an expense. And um, charity. 
whether you give to your church, whether you give to the local food bank, um, that's those are the uh, basic categories. I think I got eight separate uh, distinct categories with line items under each one. And here's how the discipline works for me. Every morning I get up, have a cup of coffee, sit down at my computer, I load up that spreadsheet, and I tap into um, my, the various places, the banks um, that we use on a frequent basis, um, the, uh, the investment stuff that we've got in our IRAs, uh, places uh, like credit cards. We do use a credit card, even though Dave Ramsey says, no, don't ever use a credit card. Um, we do use credit cards um, for intermittent kinds of things. Um, I found it's just easy, easy to manage that way. So um, I, I go just tap into each one of those um, in the morning. I've got receipts from what we may have uh, spent the day before, and I just go down that spreadsheet and I record what we spent money on. $100 for groceries, $23 for dry cleaning, this one or that one, whatever, and just add it up and let it go. Now the way I've built the spreadsheet and had to customize it for mine is that each one of the categories, subtotals, and each one of the it, it, subtotals by month and then it goes across and I get an annual year-to-date total and I look at both actual expenditures versus budgeted expenditures and actual income versus uh, budgeted income and I can tell at any given point in time where we are month to date, year to date, uh, what we did yesterday uh, and I have found it to be one of the most important tools for being a good manager of your household, taking care of the things that you need to take care of. It really works well for me. I'll share a couple of the screenshots uh, here and there as we go, as I've gone through this uh, um, dissertation, I guess. Um, so. That's what I think is the biggest and best tool for any person, and particularly if you're a prepper and you need to be prepared, you need to know where your money's coming from and where your money's going. This is the Prepared Suburbanite, reminding you to be prepared always, and I'll see you all on the next video.